we'll do another video of another one of my favorite guns. Now this one has been out a few times, but I've never taken a deer with it. And of course I kind of touched base on it when I did my 742 BDL Woods Master video. This is the Remington 760 pump. It's the Game Master. It is a four shot magazine fed. There's a the magazine. And it has the same style bolt. Let's see if I can bring it up. It has the same style bolt as the uh, uh, 742. This is in the BDL grade. has the basket weave, uh, even in the stock. And what I do love about this gun, that's the reason why I haven't hunted with it much, is look at that stock. Look at that. That is such beautiful grain in that stock. Um, it has a Tasco 4x40 scope. It has the high rise mounts. I have a scope cover which doesn't want to stay on. It's gotten so old, I'll probably go ahead and take it off. But uh, I have, I've got it zeroed. I've had it hunting but I've never harvested a deer with it. It does have the military style sling on it. Uh, I mean, it pretty much functions the same as the 742 other than it is a pump action. And this rifle was made from 1952 to 1981 and it replaced the Model 141 Remington. Then when this one was discontinued, Remington came out with a Model 6. It didn't last very long. It was made from uh, 1981 to 1987. While it was being made, they came out with the Sportsman Model 7, 6, 76. And uh, it started in 85 and was continued to 1987. And then it was replaced with the Model 7600 in 1987 and it has been the the gun you know made up to present i know remington arms has went bankrupt uh they've started back again or whoever took them out of bankruptcy and it's called rim arms now but uh, uh this is a really nice gun uh, even the forearm let me show you on this side if you can see that that wood grain in it and uh, it's got the I guess you call it mahogany on the top and on the pistol grip uh, got the white trim around it uh, it's got the open sights um, I may like I said I haven't taken a deer with this and I may choose to take this this year uh, the 742 I've taken several deer with. The 700 BDL, that's when I really stopped carrying this. Is when I got the 700 BDL. Uh, it might have been, no, the 700 ADL. Uh, uh, I quit carrying this and started hunting with 700 ADL, which has the synthetic stock. I have a project coming up on that one uh, as soon as the weather breaks. And then I got the 700 BDL, so I left the ADL home, started taking the BDL out. And that's been the rifle I've taken about every year, with uh, exception to a couple of years. But I've, you know, I've always taken a backup rifle as well. And, uh, but <clears throat> back in the days when these Remington 742s, 760, was made especially in the BDL grade these were really really sought after really nice firearms and uh, I just wanted to share it with you because you, you heard me mention it and 
I wasn't going to bring it out and then I decided I got to go ahead and bring this out so y'all could see it especially the wood grain on this stock uh, I just love that in fact Jared really likes it his I don't think is like this that much it's still a beautiful gun that he's got but just for some reason I got I don't know if you call it I don't know if I'd call it tiger stripes or what but it is just so and, and the light's not really doing it justice uh, whenever I try to show it to you but you can see that and uh, but it is a great firearm uh, like I said all the Remingtons are that's the reason why Jared and I are Remington guys and uh, I just wanted to get this video out uh, I might have another one of another one of my favorite guns to hunt with and it might be uh, another squirrel hunting gun it could be another deer hunting gun so y'all just stick around for that appreciate you watching uh, appreciate your comments uh, hit that thumbs up and uh, as we're always fond of saying we'll see you in the woods thanks for watching but